Here we have our ProSim H pattern shifter and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the length and throw of the gear lever. There's two ways we can do that. The first is with our shaft extension so that you can change the length of the gear knob to whichever position you want. And the second way is by changing the motion ratio of the gear lever itself and that will give you a longer or shorter throw for the same length lever. So to start with, I'll show you how to use the shaft extension, which is probably the easiest option. What we need is a 5mm Allen key to remove the existing gear knob. Once that is off, we can put that to one side. And with the shaft extension the way it came, you can choose any position you want. So you can go from the bottom up to the top. But just make sure the top of the lever is below the top screw, otherwise it's not going to clamp properly. So if we go somewhere in the middle like this, just hold it where we want it and tighten up the two bolts, like that. And then we can put our gear knob straight on the top, tighten that up, and then you need a 17mm spanner to just hold onto the nut here and then tighten the two together, like so. Now, with that as well, if you remove this, the thread is a standard M10 by one and a half on the shaft extension below our adapter and you can fit any gear knob you want to that. Now the second adjustment, which is slightly more complicated, is the motion ratio. Now to do that, we need to take the shaft extension off. And if you haven't got the shaft extension, you also need to take the gear knob off so that we've got a plain shaft like this. And then we need to take the whole housing off, so we need to take these four bolts off here. Once we have these off, you can just lift the entire lever straight out and then on here you'll see there's two there's a circlip here so what we need are a small set of circlip pliers so we take this off if we squeeze that lift the circlip off put that down up to one side then we can take the spring and the two cups off in one put that to one side now what we have here are a couple of different spacers. We've got the thick one on the top, which put to one side for now because that always sits on the top. The lever then comes out of the ball joint. And if we put that down to one side for now, we to change the motion ratio, we need to move this bearing down a groove. And you can see there's a circlip on the top and on the bottom. So with another set of circlip pliers, we need a larger set and internal ones. I go for the bottom one first because that's easier. So squeeze it in, move it to the next groove up, which is there. Once that circlip is in, the bearing will drop to the bottom when you turn it over. And if not, just give it a little push to push it into the bottom. We then grab the next circlip move it down. It's difficult to ever get that in in one, so you push the bottom, you push the back in and then you can just push it down with the circlip pliers like that and you hear it clip in and just give it a wiggle just to make sure it's in there solid. Now that's in there, that's the ball joint position moved. So we can put that to one side for now and on the lever that we took out you'll notice that there's two different thickness of spacers. This thinner spacer which will be on the top needs to come off of the lever and go on the top because that needs to, where we've moved the ball joint down that's the same thickness as that spacer which is what we need to have otherwise the whole shifter won't work because nothing will line up in the correct way so we've got the middle size spacer on the bottom that goes into the ball joint like that we then put the small one down the shaft, the largest one goes on. We then have these cups, so the cup needs to sit upright to hold the spring, 
like that. The spring then goes on. Then we have the other cup to hold it, which goes downwards like that. Once that's there, the circlet needs to go on to hold it all. So we can squeeze that here. Push down. I push down below the circlet, circlet groove, let go like that, and then the spring will push it up and you'll hear it click. And now that's all held in position and that's back to where we were a second ago, but with the motion ratio changed. Now when you put it back on, if you look at the bottom, you'll see there's a tag that sticks out on one side. That's what indexes fifth and sixth gear. So that's important that when you put it into the shifter, it faces to the left hand side from behind and also it touches against the block. So if you look down here, you'll see there's a block on that side down here. That tag has to go down onto that block like that. This sits and holds itself and then that's all together. So then we put the bolts back in, tighten them up. And now, even if we don't use the shaft extension, the lever will have more throw. So you can have a longer throw on the lever without a longer shaft, which is good depending on where you want to mount it. And then you can put the shaft extension back on and go for choose what distance you want.